Hello and welcome to the OTB channel. This is uh, another quick fix uh, that I'm going to produce a video about that resulted from my installing Debian on my hard drive. Some of you may have seen my video where I did a test install in VirtualBox uh, and I was impressed. So I've put it on the hard drive that used to have Arch Linux on and I've configured it and I've been using it and living in it for the last week. However, I came across a problem when, I, when it came to uh, installing OBS Studio. The version that's available in the Debian repos is actually only version 22. And I needed version 23 so that I could uh, get hardware rendering, which is only available in that version. So I decided to install Snaps and I came across a couple of problems, which I'm going to tell you about now. Using snap packages on Debian is actually very simple as far as setting it up is concerned. You simply install snapd with sudo apt install snapd. You enable the service and once it's started up, you do a sudo snap install whatever package you want to install. In my case, it was OBS Studio. However, I noticed that once it had been installed, OBS Studio didn't actually appear anywhere in the menu. Now, if this happens to you, uh, don't panic. Uh, OBS Studio or whatever other package you've installed is there. You don't need to try and install it again. In fact, you will find it in the snap forward slash bin directory. The problem that we have is the snap bin directory isn't within your path or within the system's path. Um, as you can see, I've got my path there and snap, uh, snap bin appears nowhere. And the second problem is that the desktop files that would normally appear or generate a menu entry are actually in var lib snapd desktop applications. And again, these don't automatically appear in your menu. So how do we resolve this? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. A couple of very short commands, which you can turn into a script, resolve the problem for good. So the first thing I did was I um, went into my file browser and I enabled view hidden files and I went into the .local forward slash share directory and I was looking for a directory called applications. There wasn't one there on my Debian system so I simply created uh, a directory called applications. So I now have a .local forward slash share forward slash applications directory. In this directory, I am going to do a symbolic link to the desktop files that we looked at earlier. And to do this, I simply run this command, ln-sf forward slash var lib snapd desktop applications star dot desktop, which points to all the dot desktop files in that directory. And with this command, I'm asking uh, all of those files to be linked to my dot local forward slash share forward slash applications directory. What this command will actually do, it will not only um, create symbolic links, but each time it's run, it will delete all of the old symbolic links and recreate as new. So if I run that now, and then look in my applications directory, there you go. Three snaps that I've currently got installed, Dead Beef, OBS Studio, and Shotcut. What you will also see is they now all appear in my sound and video menu. Great. So, let's just show you how this works in practice. If I was to install another snap, let's say Opera. I'll do that now. sudo snap install 
Opera. Let it go out to uh, the snap directory, find it. Great. It's installed it and it's telling us that snap bin isn't actually found in our directory, which we already knew. But no problem. Let's just clear that. Let's look in our applications menu under internet where we would hope to find Opera. And as you can see, it's not there. If we look in our applications uh, menu under dot local share again there's no desktop file so let's run that script go back to the applications menu or the directory should i say and there's opera it's linked to the desktop file in the menu itself if i go to internet there you'll see an entry for opera so all great but what if i actually decide i want to remove opera now and I do a sudo snap remove opera. Ooh. If I can get my spelling right. Opera has now been removed. Unfortunately, it's still showing up as a desktop application there. It's actually a dead link because if I try and launch it, you can see the link is now broken. It's no longer there. It's also still showing up in my main menu because the desktop link is there. So how do we get rid of this? Well, if I was to run that again, the ln-sf, it doesn't actually remove the dead link at all. Um, it will leave it there. It will only act upon the live links in the directory. So we have to use a different command in order to delete any dead links. So let me show you how to do that now. One of the most efficient ways I found of uh, moving dead links in a directory, uh, doesn't matter how many, is to use the find command. And you should see my terminal in front of you and it's find minus L and then I've got my directory dot local share applications uh, named minus type L minus delete. So let's just have a look. You can see that the Opera desktop broken link is still there. If I run this command, it's been removed. Not only that, now that the desktop uh, link has been removed, there's nothing showing in the uh, internet menu itself. So knowing those two commands, you can manage installing and uninstalling snaps. And you can do this in a number of ways. You can just remember the commands and type them each time you need to, or you could create aliases, or you can do what I did, which is create a little script that I'll run each time I do an installation or an uninstall of a snap package. And the script is really simple. All it is, is the two commands that you've just seen thrown into the script with a bin bash shebang. I've made it executable with a sudo chmod uh, plus x. And it looks like this. I've called it fix snap. There you have it. I'll just make that slightly smaller. So I've started off with the find command. So it'll look initially for broken links and then it will remove the existing soft links and recreate them. And all I have to do is run that script each time that I install or uninstall a snap. I've actually uh, tried to simplify the process for myself so that I don't have to go searching around for the script uh, on my file system. I've created um, an extra directory called bin and I've added bin to my path and I've done this by oops if I can type editing my bash rc file or dot bash rc and what you will see here 
is I've created, it's currently commented out, but I've created this entry, which is export path equals dollar sign path and home forward slash bin. And at the same time, I've put the snap bin path in as well. So now that I've removed the comment of that line, I'm just going to save this file. And source the bash, bash RC file. And that should do it. So if I now um, have a look at my path. You will see here at the end, I've got forward slash bin. And I've also got home Steve bin where I've put this uh, directory. So all I have to do now that I've added that to the path, if I want to run that script, I simply type fix snap and you'll see it picks it up straight away and runs it. Because I've put the snap bin directory in there as well, I can now also access uh, all of my snaps by the command line and just launch them from there. And that's basically it. So that's all there is to it, if you want your snaps to appear in the Debian menu. One of the things I've always liked about Debian is it does require a little bit more work than the likes of Ubuntu, but every time you approach a problem, you learn something more. I'm no expert when it comes to scripts, but you've seen for yourself, just on this example, very simple scripts can be incredibly useful. That's it for today, people. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and find it useful. Stay well, YouTube, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.